when America has got this amount of debt and you buy this house for a thousand, okay, let's bring it, let's say 500,000. Let's just make the figures real time. And let's say your value of your home is 600,000. Now you're living comfortably, you've got 100,000 equity. During hyperinflation, that same house now becomes the value now suddenly doubles and you are 1.2 million. Here, you've got a debt ratio of, let's say, about 90%. I'm just guessing now. Okay. Now, you still owe the bank 500,000 here. What is your debt ratio now? Your debt ratio has come down. You barely owe the bank 45%. Now, what has happened here? Your debt has come down to 45%. Let's say two years later, this probably becomes 2.4 million. Now your debt ratio comes down, maybe you still owe the bank, maybe that time, let's say 450, your debt has now become like 20%, 25%, okay? Can you see how your debt is coming down, 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 down? Now the same with the American debt. America is going to hit a debt of about $120 trillion very, very quickly. What they are doing is they are bringing as many people as they can into America. They are spending as much money as they can on the Green New Deal. They want war. Guess what, guys? This war is all about spending money. They want America to default. That is what it's about. And I don't want to get into complicated conspiracy theories, but I, I've seen it all. I've checked the data. The average person is just not smart enough. And they keep voting for these people over and over and it will happen forever. Why will it happen? Because it's in the Revelation. The last book of the Bible predicts everything in the world. And that book in Revelation, the Bible has never been wrong. What will happen here is that this will hit 120 trillion. But then America will almost default. But then they're going to have hyperinflation. Now, the same principle that I showed you here, what happens here with the debt, is that that debt ratio will come down in such a fashion that the 120 trillion, in my opinion, is only going to be a mere eight trillion dollars in today's value. It won't be eight trillion, but I'm just giving the the same analysis here is the same analysis there. But then, at a very very low level, when they start turning over, and this happens here, America is going to default. And I'll explain that later. What's going to happen here is that you are going to see extreme hyperinflation. Guys, this is what I say. I just want to make one comment here quickly, Wendy. The Grand Cardones of the world. I love Grand Cardone. He tells everybody, go and make debt as much as you can. Borrow money. I don't live in my own home. I just rent a home. Guys, let me tell you this now. Live within your means. Pay your house off. You don't need another home. You can have another one as a rental property. Get rid of your debit card. Pay your loans off. Drive the cheapest car that your ego can afford and don't make debt. Become debt free because what's coming in this world is not, uh, you don't want to be entangled in debt, constant debt. It keeps your brain occupied. It keeps your, your mental focus away from you as a person, you as a family, husband, wife, from your kids. Friendships, people are more important than money. Make enough money, pay your debt off, and live a happy life.